Complete Story of Agony, Clintar, Earth 616 Agony was one of five symbiotes forcible spawned from Venom by the Life Foundation to be used as guards slash enforcers for them and their clients. The Sinister Life Foundation a organization that was preparing for the MAD. Mutually assured destruction, fallout of the Cold War or in the event of world chaos, sought to provide a comfortable life for their wealthy clients after the impending Holocaust. Needing a superhuman police force to protect this utopian future, the Foundation's leader Carlton Drake seeing these future's guardians in the unborn offspring of Venom, the symbiote bound to Eddie Brock, had him captured. Once the Foundation captured Venom who was in San Francisco at the time, they brought him to their lab in Mojave Desert, California. There through a procedure they forcible extracted five seeds, offspring, from venom and hatched them. Too young to control a host, as with all five offsprings, she was merged with Leslie Jesneria a security force officer of the Life Foundation that comprised of cops, soldiers and mercenaries. Together she and Jesneria along with the other four would become the Foundation's guardian symbiotes. When Spider-Man, Peter Parker, followed her sister Strike Agent 4, host Donna Diego and Yellow and Red Symbiote, she and the other guardian symbiotes all attacked the wall crawler. But before they could kill him Eddie who had gotten free once they removed the Venom symbiote, appeared. But in order to beat them Eddie became Venom once again, and with Spider-Man defeated her the others using a metabolic accelerator, aging the symbiotes turning them into dust and seemingly killing them when Venom turned up the power. Her host as well as the other symbiotes also appeared to die in the ensuing explosion. The symbiote not only survived along with her siblings due to efforts by the Life Foundation, but their hosts had too. But she and the others began to gain influence over their host, so the hosts wanting to keep control planned to seek out Eddie Brock for help. When she, i.e. Leslie Jesneria, and the others suddenly left the Lift Foundation facility to get Eddie Brock's help, Donna, strike agent for and host to her sister, went alone to talk to Brock slash Venom but failed in her two attempts. She and the rest of the former Guardian symbiotes, i.e. the hosts, joined her shortly after in her third attempt to get Brock's help. Together they broke Brock, who had lost the Venom symbiote, out of a New Mexico facility and brought him to an abandoned factory in a small city near Chicago to make him help them. Unfortunately yet again Brock refused, due to his belief that all of the Venom symbiote's children become psychopathic killers like Carnage, Cletus Cassidy. Later while Brock managed to escape, she was alone trying to gain control over her host when they were both killed by a sonic blade. When the others found them dead and believing at the time it was Eddie Brock wanted to make him pay. Even after her brother the light orange symbiote and his host Carl Mock were killed it was still believed to be the doing of Brock. That is until her sister and host Donna, Donna who had snapped from her schizophrenia and her sister's influence back when she first reached out to Brock for help picked up the sonic blade she'd been using to attack their brothers. Failing to calm her down she killed their siblings the dark blue symbiote and the green light aqua green mix symbiotes along with their hosts, Trevor Cole and Roman Hernandez. But when she turned the blade she stolen from those that had held Brock on him, he joined with his Venom symbiote who had been looking for him just in time and together they easily buy her. Later when the team tracking the Venom symbiote showed up, and failing to capture Venom it was revealed she along with her siblings had survived, though this time their hosts had not. The symbiote and her four siblings were taken to the vault of prison for superhuman criminals, once there they were sent to facility number 12 for scientists to study and painfully experiment on them. 
One day during the symbiote invasion, Venom and Brock sent worldwide a psychic shriek that seemingly wiped out the invading symbiotes. Due to this along with the pain they were already experiencing, she and the others broke free and merged into one creature, a hybrid dot. After briefly bonding with Guardsman 6, Scott Washington, the new symbiote escaped to find and bond with Scott once again and become the vigilante called Hybrid. After some time as the vigilante hybrid they once again believed to be dead when Eddie Brock took it upon himself to kill all symbiotes. But again they survived and the host did not, they were presumably found by the US Army and was defused into four separate creatures again and named Agony, Riot, Phage, and Lasher. She and the others though apparently due to being defusioned had become catatonic and unable to totally bond with a host, were given to each member of the Mercury team. A contingency B team who has been training with Agony and the others for the sole purpose of eliminating Carnage. Agony was partly bonded to the left arm of Lt. James Murphy. When Carnage began taking over the people of Doverton, Colorado and the Avengers, Camptain America, The Thing, Hawkeye, Wolverine, say for Spider-Man, the team was sent in aided by Dr. Nieves, Scorn. The team took on a large number of Carnage-possessed townspeople but ran into big trouble when Carnage and the symbiote Avengers joined the fight. But even when Spider-Man, the Sheriff Eric Morrill, a few townies and the arrival of Venom, Flash Thompson, the fight didn't look good. But the battle seemed to turn when Scorn driving a souped-up tractor caught Carnage and Agent Venom, who were fighting at the time, to Ral's by meat packing plant where she had made a device that separated the symbiotes from Thompson and Cassidy, freeing the Carnage possessed. But things only continued to get bad as without Cassidy's control the Carnage symbiotes ran wild and took over the local zoo life. As Agony and the others fought a losing battle the team leader Marcus Sims ordered the go-ahead to torch the area and thanks to Captain America kept the blast localized. With the Carnage symbiotes destroyed, Thompson having rejoined the Venom symbiote captured and handed Cassidy over to the Avengers. Agony and her siblings were put back in their containers after Sims and the team left for the others to clean up. When Carnage began a seemingly random killing spree throughout Oklahoma Deadpool tried to stop him and his girlfriend Shriek. But as the body count raised it was revealed that Cassidy was after Mercury team and Agony as well as her siblings. Cassidy found the team in an underground base in an abandoned town. He killed them all but the German Shepherd, a war dog, who managed to get to Lasher and save Agony and the other symbiotes. When Deadpool showed up to find the dead soldiers and empty symbiote containers, he was cut to pieces by Cassidy and left like that until Lasher with Agony and the others attached to the dog saved him when she and the other two bonded to Deadpool, pulling him together. Instead of becoming one like they did before Agony and the other two symbiotes having partly bonded with Deadpool became a Frankenstein-like monster but keeping Deadpool in full control despite the extra voice in his head. Together they went after Carnage who was at Carrington Cottage Psychiatric Hospital torturing staff and patients with Shriek. They sent a leashed lasher to attack Carnage, as they tricked Shriek to get Carnage alone and then managed to trick Carnage into taking out Shriek which drove Carnage into giving himself up. In the end Deadpool gave Agony and her two siblings up to their brother Lasher and asked him to bring them back to the government in hopes they'll be able to take care of them. But as to whether Lasher has done this or gone off with them remains unknown. Powers The Agony symbiote gives its host the following powers. Superhuman Strength Muscle Mass Enhancement Agony had been modified by the US government to give its user added musculature growth in order to further bolster their physical strength. 
enabling the usage and carrying around high-end heavy-duty ordnance normally found upon an aerial assault albatross. Superhuman Durability Superhuman Stamina Accelerated Healing Factor Wall Crawling ESP, Spider Sense Immunity to Spider-Man's Spider Sense Webbing Generation Camouflage Capabilities Constituent Matter Generation Metabolic Acid Generation Agony could also use her metabolism to spit acid, which could burn through most substances, however the full extent or limit and range of her acid projectiles are unknown. Metabolic Chemical Absorption Agony could even absorb and redistribute chemicals in different ways, such as regurgitating Spider-Man's artificial webbing. This ability has not been shown in any of the other LF symbiotes.